So this is a, just a quick discussion to discuss how to um, get the searching the GitLab website like a pro page working with Firefox. Um, and as an addition to that, we're gonna we're gonna go over um, Alfred as well as an option. So I'm just gonna share my Firefox browser window. So this is the page that we saw at the SQS site, uh, sorry, um, event. Uh, and it goes basically through how to, how to set up shortcuts in Chrome to make it very easy to search through the GitLab documentation and the GitLab website. But it's not quite so simple in Firefox and it took me a little while to realize how to do it. So um, in short, what you have to do is you have to create a, a bookmark for each resource where you want to search. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, Christoph, is I've, in my GitLab resources folder, I've created a custom search folder. And inside that, you can see I've got a GitLab website search, GitLab doc search, GitLab.com issues, GitLab.com epics, and Google Drive. So what that means now is if I type in like GL and then I type in search, for example, you'll see that it's, it's done the Google search with yeah. about gitlab.com uh, and it's come up with only website results from, from our website. Uh, if I do GD and do something like uh, Postgres, for example, it's gonna give me results from, from the doc site G E and G I are slightly more interesting. So like I could do uh, G E A A W S and that is actually going to, uh, going to do a, a search for epics. Um, I won't bother letting that, it'll take a little while. So I won't bother. Um, but this is, so this is how you set it up. So what you have to do is set the location. Mm -hmm with that command, that special string, the, the uh, percentage S as the search term. And down at the bottom there where it says keyword, that's the key bit. So that keyword is the shortcut then for using this as a search. So you can do it almost exactly the same way that the, the docs tell you to do it for, for Chrome, but yeah, instead of Instead of, of, of using a, a search engine, you're going yeah, to use a, a bookmark. You're there. using a bookmark with a keyword yeah. instead. Um, there is also another slightly weird way of doing this as well, which is uh, which you may not have known noticed on Firefox. If you go to any search box and actually click on it and then right click on it, ha, that's a bad example. Let's try a, a better one. Um, you can actually quite often you'll be presented with with this option mm. in your drop down, which is add a keyword for the search. And basically that does exactly the same thing. So, yeah. you, um, so if there's any, anything that you want to create a keyword search term for, you can do it like this. Um, it's, it's not very easy to do it for the site stuff that we use for the website search and the docs search. Um, technically, if you were to go to docs.gitlab.com and then right click in this search box, you can actually add a keyword for this search. Um, and I could, so I could do a uh, custom search and I will call it sort of, sort of GDD, for example. Um, so my GD search, if I do Postgres is, uh, is using Google to search our doc site. But if I do GDD Postgres, this is now actually going to use the GitLab's docs internal search to do it. So that's the other way that you can, you can create these, these search terms. So do you want to yeah. do you, you want to share your screen and we'll set a couple up? Yeah, sure. Um, just a moment. I'll share my Firefox. There you go. Okay. So the best thing I can say is you can do a Google search and then. Um, copy the URL, but actually you, there's a lot of stuff in there, tracking stuff you don't want. So actually I've, I found that the best way of doing this is actually copying the URL from the existing marketing <clears throat> searching documentation, uh, which is oh, yeah. put, so put that in chat actually, be fine. 
So that, for example, is the search term that you'd use or the bookmark that you'd use, I should say. Yeah. Um, and that in already includes the, the percentage S. Yeah, so that already includes the percentage. So you can actually, you can just, if you want to create a new folder, I would. Yeah. And I do like custom search or like search, yeah, yeah something like that. Um, then right click on that, you can do new bookmark. Uh, the mm -hmm. name, mm -hmm. call it whatever you want. So yeah. this would be GitLab, uh, yeah, about GitLab search location. That's the URL, keyword, GL. You don't need to tag it if you want to. And then just click add. Uh, and then to test it, just delete everything in your URL address bar and just type in GL space something. Yeah, worked. Yeah, brilliant. That's easy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It just took me a while to figure out how to do it because it's not done in the same way. Like there's a lot of time I spent looking through like the Firefox preferences and they do have like a search engines like list, but it's not customizable. Um, like you can only add and remove predefined search engines that Firefox know about, so. Um, yeah, so it took, it took a while to uh, figure it out, but, but eventually, as usual, once you get it, it's pretty easy to It's start. pretty simple, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the other option, the other way that I think um, some members have said that, you know, they quite like doing this searching, which is, is pretty cool, um, is by using Alfred. Now, I don't know if yeah. you use Alfred. I, I'm using Alfred as well. So if I enter my Alfred and I do GG, uh, uh, which is also ah, we, a... we, and now interestingly I can't see on your shared screen oh yeah yeah Alfred. sorry because, oh, sorry. you're sharing a window that's why I, of I'm, I'm sharing uh, uh, only Firefox I'll oh, just do a new share the entire desktop yeah hide all the other windows <laughs> trying I've to got... get can you see it now yeah yeah okay. I can see it now so if I do GG I've got all the, the different options uh, that I set up basically yep. the handbook docs etc oh and you and you've put an icon on it as well which is the same as i've yeah. done so yeah, yeah. so effectively just for anyone watching this the way that you do that would be if you type in preferences into your alfred uh, yeah. box uh or it just should, alfred or alfred yeah then, show alfred preferences either one um and then you've got on the left hand side you've got the features uh, features and then web search yep. yep and then you can just click on add custom search in the bottom right exactly. corner there Pretty much the same thing for the rest. You have it's got a, a almost couple, the same, except of, for yeah. a couple of same, a couple of uh, more options. However, you, uh, you need to use query instead of uh, the percentage question. s. So yeah, where you would have per, where you'd have percentage yeah. s, you you do yeah. query instead. Um, and if you want your um, if you want your sort of auto complete in Alfred to kind of say searching GitLab.com for and then the query term, then as it says in the title. You would um you would kind of yeah. copy some of the examples that are in that list. So if we we would do the same thing, we can put it here. Just take it from the the, the same handbook page, but you have to replace the percentage s with, with uh, curly bracket curly brackets. I think it's no curly brackets no. query and it's query. Interesting as well, you can actually get rid of the percentage 20 and add a, a space in there as well, because the, the, the second thing where it says encode spaces as percentage 20 on the line below so will actually yeah, yeah. encode it automatically. It means it's slightly easier to read as well. Nice. Yeah, exactly that. And then you can type in whatever you want. So uh, you could type in searching demo search. uh, about, yeah, demo search for, uh, for or you can type in the word for, and then, and then you can do uh, curly brackets query. And make, yeah, and then let's make the keyword something. Um, uh, yeah. Some, uh, GT. I'll, I'll just this? do the same thing as as, uh, as before because I I don't use it. Oh, okay. You don't use GL. Okay. Thing is, uh, GG for me. So um, a useful one for the for the for the icons I found. If you go to uh, about gitlab.com forward slash press forward slash press dash kit, you'll have a list of. Um, which of course you can use your GL search for if you want to do, <laughs> ironically. But yeah, yeah um, so if you scroll down in there and you get the logos, if you right click on the PNG for PNG option for that and then just open that in a new window, a new tab, you yeah. can drag that then directly onto uh, that drop and then, yeah, and then you get the icon for it as well. I'll do a GL demo. <laughs> yeah, keyword. that's fine. Because so I think so I've got a GL one set up as well. Already. For direct uh, searching uh, uh, the handbook for instance, or keep that yourself. That's fine, yeah, we just use that for the time being and so save that. Uh, and you can close your preferences. And so now using GL demo space, yeah. 
and then uh, logos. There you go. And will automatically open your default browser. Uh, yeah, so exactly. If you decide to switch the browser to Safari or to Chrome or to whatever. <laughs> if, yeah. um, even Tor might work, I think. <laughs> then, yeah. Then, uh, then uh, it's still it's still there. But effectively, we've just demoed two different ways of uh, adding custom search functionality to either Firefox or or Alfred. Um, the Google one's already in the in the uh, searching page. Um, I'm planning on making an MR for that page at some point in the future, and I will update it with some of this this information. But uh, in the meantime, I may just post the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll stop the recording.